Many of the models that you see in movies like Star Wars or Toy Story all start out as a basic model first. So I know you're just itching to make a Death Star right now or a Millennium Falcon. But before we get crazy, we have to start with the basics. So I'm going to go ahead to my primitive menu and we're going to create a very basic table. Just using some cubes and maybe a couple of cylinders just to get your feet wet. And of course, in case you've never modeled anything before. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I build this table. I'm going to grab this top cube and just squash this guy down. We'll grab this guy here and we'll stretch it out like so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to middle click in this viewport and I'll middle click now in the top viewport and I'm going to add another cube. Now what I can do with this cube is I can resize it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just scale it down just to make a leg for the table. And using these little arrows here, I can reposition this object, put it where I want. Let's say I want a leg right there, for example. I'll middle click to go back to my perspective view and I will move this leg down. I will hit the letter S on my keyboard to focus on it. And instead of adding another cube, what I can simply do is go up to my objects manager on this new leg here and I can control and then drag until I see a little plus sign to make another one. And I'll take this leg and move it over here. And I'm not going to worry about the positioning of this right now because I'm going to simply uh, go back to my middle mouse view. And I can see up in the top view when I middle mouse again where it should be. So I'll just move it right here. And what I'm going to do this time is in my objects manager, I'm going to hold down the shift key to grab the first leg. Once again, hold down shift, grab both of them, and I'm going to control drag again to make two new legs and I'll move the new legs over like so. Middle mouse click in the top view, middle mouse click in the perspective view, and voila, we have a very basic table. Now, of course, you can get a little fancier with that and use a cylinder if you want to, or you can go ahead and you know, take this tabletop here and you can duplicate it as well. So if I want to add a little bit more detail, I'll just control drag on this guy here and I'll squeeze this guy down a little bit like so. And I'll move it down. And I'll go ahead and just tumble in my viewport a little bit just so you can see I added a little bit more detail on the bottom of the table like so. Now you can do the same thing, of course, with the little caps on the bottom and you can build basic you know, trays or whatever, and even chairs using this very basic method. Now, granted, it's very fast. It'll get the job done if you want to do something like, you know, show someone what something could look like. But a more detailed table or chair or anything would require more work. So I'm going to also talk about other tools in this section, like beveling tools or extrusion tools that you can use to take things like this and using the same geometry, and don't forget, this is still a parametric object. We haven't really turned it into an actual editable mesh yet. We can go ahead and take the geometry that exists and build upon it. And don't forget, guys, you can also go to your display menu at any time and turn the lines on if you want to see exactly where everything is fitting so you can see where mistakes are and that kind of stuff. So that's just one idea. Now, of course, we can continue to add on to this basic scene and you want to add something like a bowl or you want to just add maybe some cups, you can grab a cylinder now. And as you see here, for something very basic, this is very detailed. This little cylinder here has a lot of subdivisions. So if we wanted to, we can come over here where it says a rotation segment and we can just dial that down to something like nine. Then we can just go ahead and scale this whole thing down and make something like a, a cup or a vase or something like that. So if you want to have a can of soda or something on the table, you could do something like this. Now, once again, this would be like for comping. You know, you're thinking about what you want to build and you just want to arrange everything. And then later on, you can go ahead and, and really get to work and make the thing uh, the way it's supposed to look. Now, I do this a lot when I'm doing models, whether it's a tank or whether it's a spaceship. Build it out first, see how it's going to feel, how it's going to look. And then I just let my imagination take over. So that is just a quick look at uh, polygonal modeling. Now, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and talk about a more advanced example.